Today I'm going to show you how to delete all partitions on a disk using Windows 10. Remember that partitions that are usually not deletable by the disk manager are not deletable for a reason. And the reason is that they are essential for your hard drive you have your operating system on. If this, however, is a hard drive you want to use as a backup, you can go ahead and delete all partitions that are not deletable via Disk Manager. Remember that this will permanently remove the data and it will be very hard to get it back if you accidentally format a hard drive which you have information you want to save on. So, of course, back up everything if there is a chance you want to use the data sometime. Hold Windows key and click R. Now you will get up the run dialog. Write in disk mgmt.msc and click enter. This will give you the disk management. This program lists your disks. This is my hard drive and this is my other hard drive that I want to use to store data on. This has a operated system installed on it as well and you can see it, it has a recovery partition and the EFI system. These can be removed but they can't be removed using disk management. However, we can of course format the regular partition, extend it, shrink it or delete the volume. But for what we need to do, we'll need to actually use command prompt. Click on your Windows key or the start menu icon and write CMD. Now you'll right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. Inside the command prompt you will write in the following. Disk part. Click enter. Now you will write in list disk. Now you will get all the hard drives available. They are listed in the same order as you can see in disk management. Using disk management will also help you to recognize that this is the proper hard drive. You can also of course browse file explorer. Uh, using Windows key and E. You'll get their explorer up if you wanted to know that shortcut. Now that you have made sure the disk you want to use, you simply write in select disk and the disk you want to select. I want to of course select disk 1. Now when we have selected the disk, you'll write in list partition. Now you see the following partitions. They are listed in order. And now to delete the partition you want to delete, you'll simply select the partition. To delete the recovery partition, we are going to select, select partition one. To delete the partition, write in delete partition override. Click enter. Make sure you spell correctly. And now the recovery partition is now deleted. To delete the EFI partition, you of course need to select it. And we already deleted the previous partition. You can see here the second partition in line because these are placed in order is of course the EFI system partition. So to delete that partition, we will write select partition 2. To delete the partition you will write delete partition override. The partition is successfully deleted as you can see right there. And now we have deleted the system partitions. Now we might as well go to disk management because this is the normal partition. We can delete this one. And we can select delete volume. And yes. All right, we seem to have this little 16 megabyte partition left. So we can of course write in list partition again. And of course, select partition three, delete partition override. There we go. Now we have a clean slate. The entire disk is now just like this. 
So we have successfully deleted all partitions of this drive and we may now create a new volume or format it as we choose, which is fantastic. Well, I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please leave a like, comment below and subscribe. I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Edison, signing out.